Hello and welcome back to HRD Live. Um, I'm joined with Donna McGrath, Head of Digital Learning at the Royal Mail. Lovely for you to be here. Yeah, thank you. Um, how did your session go earlier? Yeah, it was really enjoyable. We had um, some great conversations across the room about what we've been doing yeah. um, and it was nice to be able to share our story. Um, yeah. yeah, it was good fun. Oh, brilliant. Oh, good. Well, um, I'm going to talk to you about digital learning. Yeah. Um, first of all, I'd like to ask you about um, you know being part of such a prestigious uh, organisation as the Royal Mail. Um, there are well, there are lots of diff diff different demographics in most companies, but the, the, I think the Royal Mail is somewhere that people think about all different demographics. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's quite physical work as well. Yeah. So, um, do you ever face unexpected challenges when it comes to to you know that that kind of side of it? Yeah, um, there can often be a perception that digital learning is um, harder for particularly older generations to adopt. And as a workforce, we tend to be fairly mature. So um, it's been one of those areas where people are thinking, oh, it's going to be work for us. What we find is that actually um, our uh, workforce have really embraced it. And by just testing and learning, we've been able to get people to use things which um, we might have thought they didn't do. It's given us some useful insights into people as well, so we've been able to test out this belief that older generations don't necessarily use some of our social media, for example, um, or are not, not as tech savvy as others, and actually we found everybody is using this technology, so they're quite adept at um, taking it up and using it and, and getting great learning resources from it. It's funny the assumptions like we yes. all make. Um, can you tell me a bit about the digital learning ecosystem that exists at Royal Mail? Yep, so we have got, like many other organisations, a learning management system which we use to kind of store most of our learning content um, and that's in place and as part of that we've got a bolt-on which provides us with a collaboration space, so a social learning space and we've been using that a lot more over the last couple of years. Um, we've also introduced some other platforms as well, so to give us a bit more flexibility in our approach. So we use a machine learning platform to create great content, um, that's something called Filtered, and we use that to help us share um, different content and broaden people's perspective when they're looking at learning resources. Um, and we use a few other things such as some really simple apps um, to do things like business book summaries and so on as well. Yeah. And this whole um, learning culture that you fostered, was it, was it difficult to change the mindset, like a bit like what we were touching on earlier, um, but, but was that a difficult shift? Yeah, and I don't think we have cracked everything yet either. We are definitely on a journey, so we are helping people to um, think about learning in a different way, um, so that we are trying to shift our way that view that learning is only those formal face-to-face -face classroom based learning and that actually learning can take many different forms it's either learning from other people which is really important and everyone does it but also learning from reading an article um, listening to a talk for example or listening to a podcast yeah. people can pick up some really useful insights and different ideas about how they manage their role and, and add value to their workplace so so we're really shifting that approach about what learning is and what it does um, but it is a journey, we're nowhere near finished yet. Yeah. I imagine it's a very personalised thing as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what we've been doing a lot of over the last couple of years is really trying to tailor the experience that people can go on so that it gives them an opportunity to, rather than just go on a programme of activity and have that almost a sheet dip approach to learning, to think about how can you pick out the pieces that you want yourself. I always use that example of thinking when you're on your own and you're looking for learning resources, we all go to things like Google these days yeah. and find out what we want yeah. to do. And we need to kind of shift our approach in the workplace to help people who are used to this way of learning be able to find resources in a much more similar way, yeah. but just make it easier for them to get great content. Absolutely. Um, so what would you say in your time at the Royal Mail, what, what would you say is the most challenging aspect of, of your role? So. Um, that's a really big challenge just on the scale of the organisation. So um, we are, you know, there's a big audience to reach in terms of our colleagues. Yeah, of um, and we are represented across all four corners of the UK. So that in itself brings some different learning challenges. And digital can be really helpful in that way. Um, I think some, some of it is as well is about just breaking down those barriers around what we actually think learning is. Collaboration is a really crucial thing that we're trying to work on a lot at the moment. So 
I will have lots of knowledge in my head, it's about how do we shift that and move that on to other people as yeah. well. Um, and we're trying to really help people to understand the value of them sharing their knowledge and, um, and do that. So that's, a, that's been a really interesting challenge to work on. And um, what changes would you like to see in the, in the future at Royal Mail? So, one of the most interesting things for me over the last year or so has been about how we've been working with some of our what we call subject matter experts across the organisation to empower them to create their own learning resources and I think um, that's been a big shift and a big change for us as learning professionals to think about we don't necessarily need to have control over all of this learning resources. What we need to do is empower other people to create some great content, help them and coach them around how they can share their knowledge more widely. And I think that's something I'd really like to see um, happen more across our organisation.